Oh yeah, this is a good book. It's a good book, folks. Check it out if you can. The Twilight of Democracy, The Seductive Lure of Authoritarianism by Ann Applebaum. Check it out if you get an opportunity. You are going to enjoy it, and it'll scare the hell out of you because it's pretty much true. <laughs> anyway, uh, I've been telling uh, some of my viewers that I would put together a reading list, a recommended reading list, and I, I've been neglecting to do that for several months. I promise over the holidays I will get that taken care of. And we'll get it up on AmericanHeathenRedux.com. Uh, I'm actually going to set up a, a blog up there for short posts and stuff like that in between the times that I'm doing the show. All right. Uh, welcome to American Heathen Redux. I am your host, RJ Evans. And uh, I want to let you know that I am now a wanted man. It's official. Well, not really. It's the uh, Brevard County Sheriff's Office trespass warning. It was issued to me and my wife. We each got one. There's two p pieces of the white uh, yellow paper here. Uh, anyway, the, uh, the, the, the douchebag next door, the guy that's uh, been complaining about the no Nazi flag in my backyard. <laughs> yeah. Uh, well, apparently he decided that, uh, I hadn't talked to him for well, months, months and months. And, uh, he finally wanted to know if there was something we could do to work things out, even though he's been pestering the HOA to pester me, uh, about flag rules that don't exist. Anyway, long and short of it is the only way you see the flag is if you look over his goddamn fence. And it just tells me that he's a fucking Nazi. Anyway, I told him off from the driveway one morning here not too long ago. Uh, took me about five minutes calling him a Nazi fuck, a fascist fuck, an authoritarian piece of shit, yada, 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 yada. Anyway, never left my yard. And uh, two days later, we got a visit from the sheriff's office. <laughs> a little fuck. <laughs> he just... What a pussy-ass motherfucker. Anyway... Apparently, he thinks I'm going to come over there and hurt him. <laughs> no, no, he's a, he's a big baby. Anyway, we filed one of those against him that same day. He said, fuck it. <laughs> All right, before we begin, some shout outs to uh, uh, some of my followers over on Twitter and TikTok over on Twitter. Shout outs to Douglas Dana Boudreau, Cajun Blue, Arizona, Joe Murphy, and Armand Hamuth. Over on TikTok, shout outs to Survive Resist. Direct anti-fascist action, Enza Peta and El Duderino to you. Thanks to all of you for tuning in. Now, if you're watching clips of this episode over on TikTok and you'd like to leave a comment on TikTok, I encourage you to watch the uncut full-length version of this video first by clicking on the YouTube play arrow in my bio. And while you're there, be sure to subscribe. Now, if you'd like to comment on any of the episodes outside of TikTok, you can do so at AmericanHeathenRedux.com forward slash contact or... You can email me at godlessbastard at AmericanHeathenRedux.com. All right, let's get to it. Fascist governors are doing their very best to out-fascist one another. Here in Florida, Governor Ron Death Sentence, or Death Sentence as I like to call him, has taken a lead uh, by signing into law several anti-vaccination mandate bills in an effort to circumvent any national attempt at protecting the health and well-being of all divided states of Americanistan citizens. Yes, I said divided states of Americanistan. Quote, nobody should lose their job because of these COVID jabs, said Death Santis. He went on to say mandate restrictions are tearing people down. Today we lift people up. <laughs> Right. Uh, anyway, meanwhile, his uh, web-footed Surgeon General Joseph Lapido quacked that the legislation was wonderful. Flapping his bill, he went on to quack, quote, it completely pushes back against the belief that some of our leadership put forward that you don't control your body, that your body belongs to Dr. Fauci, unquote. Lapido said mandates were spiritual warfare. Yeah, spiritual warfare, and completely wrong. And it's your body. God gave it to you. Unless, of course, you're a woman seeking an abortion, then God gifted your body to the state of Florida. And Ron death sentence. And the quack. And whoever else wants to abuse it. Anyway, uh, the miscarriage of justice that was the trial and acquittal of murderer Kyle Rittenhouse has opened the floodgates of Talibangelical fascist fucks in the uh, other news. Uh, apparently, fascist fucks' Second Amendment remedies are now giving them license to hunt down and kill anyone who wishes to exercise their First Amendment right to peaceful protest. Republican Christ heard Madison Cawthorn 
uh, and uh, also Gauleiter of uh, North Carolina. By the way, that's the Nazi equivalent of a state representative. Anyway, he's urged his uh, Instagram followers to be armed and dangerous following Kyle Rittenhouse's not guilty verdict. Quote, Kyle Rittenhouse is not guilty, my friends. You might, uh, you have a right to defend yourself, be armed, be dangerous, be moral. <laughs> right? Moral. <laughs> anyway, meanwhile, the, the gun owners of, of, of America, GOA, has awarded Rittenhouse a brand spanking new AR-15 assault rifle for his quote-unquote defense of gun rights. <laughs> In a Friday morning tweet, the GOA wrote, quote, alert. GOA will be awarding Kyle Rittenhouse with an AR-15 for his defense of gun rights in America. Join us in saying thank you to Kyle Rittenhouse for being a warrior for gun owners and self-defense rights across the country, unquote. Yeah. Anyway, after the announcement, uh, <clears throat> manufacturers of clay pigeons and gun targets actually saw their stocks tank as uh, ammunition manufacturers and, believe it or not, new train cattle car stocks Sword, <laughs> which leads me to today's commentary. I swore never to be silent whenever and wherever human beings endure suffering and humiliation. We must always take sides. Neutrality helps the oppressor, never the victim. Silence encourages the tormentor, never the tormented. Sometimes we must interfere. When human lives are endangered, when human dignity is in jeopardy, national borders and sensitivities become irrelevant. Wherever men or women are persecuted because of their race, religion, or political views, that place must, at that moment, become the center of the universe. That quote comes from Holocaust survivor Elie Wiesel as he accepted a Nobel Peace Prize. The fascists are out fascinating Fascists, while fiendishly and flagrantly, uh, fucking freedom. Yes, that was just as difficult to say as it was to write. And even read. But uh, look, now that it's legal for a self-appointed citizen constabulary to hunt anyone who disagrees with the Republican christ turned authoritarian theocratic fascist agenda, there's a run on boo-hoo from the right. Yes, victimhood. Ooh -hoo. Ooh -hoo. Oh, woe is me. You're picking on me. <sighs> yeah, Rittenhouse is a victim now of the liberal Satanist cabal. They're all victims of our cabal. Of course, we've watched this phenomenon now for quite some time. Entitlement, white privilege, fundamentalist, Christian exceptionalism. Just go to you, boob, uh, TikTok, Instagram, Facebook, Twitter. They're all awash with evidence of these fascist proclivities and outright pukish, pissy, piggish punkism. But now the fascist fucks have begun to explore new ways of outdoing each other while forcing freedom's face into the carpet, under their jackboots, and flagrantly dry-fucking it into oblivion. Look at Representative Paul Gosar of Arizona, for example, a truly unhinged Republican Christerd. Promoting violence against Representative Alexandria Ocasio-Cortez, Democrat of New York, in the anime cartoon depicting himself attacking AOC and President Biden. And as I mentioned in the news segment, Representative Madison Cawthorn, Republican Christchurch of North Carolina, encouraging his fascist cronies to be armed, be dangerous, be moral. <laughs> Well, we have to translate that. And the best way to translate that is out of Republicanese into something we can all understand. Something like, uh, be ready to kill anyone who wants uh, you want to in the name of God. Yeah. Now, add to this shit sandwich the fact that Gosar, Cawthorn, and Gates all want Rittenhouse as their personal intern. You gotta be kidding me. No, it, it makes sense, though, isn't it? Yeah, they all, you got the pedophile, you got the crazy guy, and you have the uh, the other crazy guy. Anyway, they all want Rittenhouse, the murderer. You know, my good friend and editor, Ronald Bruce Meyer, sent me a text uh, recently. It was a great outline of the seven lessons that we should be able to learn from this fiasco of fuckery. The first one, number one, Second Amendment rights are more important than First Amendment rights. Yeah. Uh, number two, property rights are more important than human rights. 
Uh, let's see, number three, self-defense can include putting yourself in danger deliberately. Yeah, like if I were to like jump into the, jump the fence into the tiger cage and claim, what could I do? Oh my, the tigers were attacking. <clears throat> Uh, let's see, number four, absent a firearm, nobody would be dead right now. Absent Rittenhouse, nobody would be dead. Uh, number five, Rittenhouse was able to do what the police wished they could do. Otherwise, he would not have crossed state lines with a firearm to quote unquote help out. <laughs> uh, number six, even American courts can be fascist. Yeah. And uh, finally, number seven, final lesson, the fascists are coming. Uh, actually, I would argue the last one. They're already here, and they're trying to out-fascist each other while fiendishly and flagrantly fucking freedom. Here's a quote for you. Whoever can conquer the street will one day conquer the state for every form of power politics and any dictatorship run state has its roots in the street. That quote comes from Dr. Joseph Goebbels. Nazi propaganda minister. That's right, folks. The streets aren't safe anymore. Have a comment or question? Email me at godlessbastard at americanheathenredux.com. And don't forget to visit the merch page for age redux t-shirts and wristbands. Go to americanheathenredux.com forward slash online dash store. Until next time, remember this. Hypocrisy always feels alive. Peace.